has to always try and remain optimistic. Uh, I have to admit to um, having my concerns. I think the key thing is not whether we'll get there and ultimately reach the right solution, but the speed at which we need to, to do that. I mean, the trajectory of climate change at the moment means we need to be acting really decisively in the next year or two and not leaving it till starting in 2020 with a view to implementing measures that are going to make a difference in 2025, 2030, 2040. That's too late. So I'm optimistic that we'll, we'll get there in the end. The question is whether we'll do it quickly enough. I think if we're all doom and gloom, everybody just gives up. What's the point in moving on? So there's got to be some optimism um, that encourages people to make an effort to try to protect um, the blue earth, if you like. I think the best, most obvious reason for hope is that there is always a new generation coming along. And they're not burdened with the, I guess, the, the, the weight of having tried something and failed. Or even if they have tried something, there's always the next thing. Kids are really good at asking why not. And the kids are great at asking questions and then doing what they can to find answers. I am really optimistic. I'm optimistic about science. As I said, the technologies have changed so much lately. There are new technologies coming on stream, you know, every year. Uh, it's, as I said, it's a struggle to keep up with the changes. It's really exciting. We're on a track to well more than two degrees and politically all around the world, in that big picture, we're not acting quickly enough to stop that. But when I bring it down to the people that I know and the work that we do, we actually are. There's a lot of people doing good, innovative work that makes a difference. Well, I'm optimistic because you've got a choice. You can be pessimistic, and there's a lot in the world to say it's a pretty nasty place, or you can be optimistic. And I got depressed when I was a youngster for 10 years and didn't like it, and it got me nowhere. But being optimistic is very important. It's a motivator. For example, if you're going to set up a shop to sell sandwiches and you're optimistic, you're much more likely to succeed than if you're pessimistic and down in the mouth about it. Same with saving the planet. So optimism itself is a driving force, but it's also a much happier way to be. If we can be optimistic, if we can um, start to act now, I think there's optimism for a brighter future.